Hello, today we'll be reviewing polar graphs and some of their properties. The first one that we're going to be talking about is circles. When you look at a circle, it's always going to have the equation r equals a number. For example, if we look at r equals 2, we are going to have a circle with a radius of 2. If we look at r equals negative 4, it is going to be a circle with a radius of 4. Keep in mind that the radius always have to be positive, so if you have an equation, take the absolute value of it. You can also graph them in your calculator. Uh, before you do that, make sure you're in radians. Go to menu, graph entry, polar, since we are graphing polar graphs, r equals two, you can see your circle with a radius of two. Again, we can do the same thing and graph negative 4, and you can see your circle with a radius of 4. The next type of equation that we're going to be talking about is the row curves. We have two equations for it. R equals a cosine of n times theta, and R equals a sine n times theta. So notice that both of the equations are very similar, except for one of them has sine, one of them has cosine. Looking at some examples, r equals 2 cosine of 3 theta. We can do the same thing and graph them. r equals 2 cosine of 3 theta. Enter. You can see that all the roses are going to be shaped like flowers, so you can see a flower with three petals. Another example, r equals 3 cosine of 4 theta. So let's look at the graph. So 3 cosine of 4 theta. And as you can see, you have eight different petals this time. So the number of petals will be determined by your val the value of n. So if n is odd, you're going to have n petals. If n is even, you're going to have two n petals. We could see that in this example, this one had three petals. And this one had eight petals. Three is an odd number, four is an even number, and that's why it was doubled. The next one is going to be the lemmason. For the lemmason, we we'll also have two equations r equals a plus or minus b times sine of theta, or r equals a plus or minus b times cosine theta. Notice how the equations are again very similar, except one of them has sine, one of them has cosine. You have four different types of lemmason curves. The first one is called the lemmason with an inner loop. You can see the inner loop inside of it. The next one is the cardioid. You can see it has a similar shape to a heart. The next one is going to be dimpled, very similar to the cardioid, but the curves are going to be smaller. And the next one that looks almost like a flat surface on the left side is going to be called a convex lemmason. The type of lemmason is going to be determined by the A and the B, you do have to divide them to figure out which one of the four categories it belongs to. So let's look at some examples. Example number one, R equals one plus two sine theta. So we notice that A is equal to one, B is equal to two. So when we divide A over B, we get one over two. We have to figure out which of the categories it falls into. So we're looking at one half. One half is less than one, so it will have to be a lemmason with an inner loop. We can go to a graph just to verify. So one plus two sine theta. Enter. You can see your inner loop in your lemmason. Next example, r equals 2 minus 2 
sine theta, we will do the same thing. A is equal to 2, B is equal to 2. A over B will be equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So now we are talking about a cardioid. So looking in our calculator. Two minus two sine theta. Press enter. You can see the heart shape on this one. Next example. We're gonna be looking at r equals three plus two cosine theta. A is equal to three. B is equal to 2. So when we divide them, A over B, we have 3 over 2, which is around, which is exactly 1.5. So it falls on the third category. So now we'll just look at our graph 3 plus 2 cosine theta. three plus two cosine theta. Enter, you can see how it has a similar shape to the cardioid, but not as deep. Let's look at one more example. R equals five minus cosine theta. A is equal to five b is equal to 1, so a divided by b is 5 over 1, which is 5, so it's obviously going to be greater than 2. Cosine theta. 5 minus cosine theta. Now you can see it looks very circular, almost like a flat side. The next one is going to be the Archimedes, Archimedes spiral. And that one is just going to be R equals theta. It could have a number on it, like 2 theta, etc. So looking at it in our calculator, going to polar. Gonna graph r graph r equals theta, and you can see the spiral. You can change the spiral by changing the numbers and making it longer. So that one is going from zero to two pi. So I'm gonna go to four pi just to extend the spiral. If you add a number at the beginning, then it's gonna make the spiral get closer to the origin or further depending on the number that you input. So I'm gonna change it to three theta. Notice how it got sep more separated, but if I change it to 0.3 theta, you can see that it gets closer to it as you go. The last one is going to be your lemon skate that equation is going to be the only one that is not r equals is going to be r squared equals so r squared equals a squared sine of 2 theta and that one is going to be shaped like that um that's about it you do have to know the difference between all of them and how to recognize them just by looking at the equation. So it's going to be a pretty easy lesson. Thank you.